Hi guys, welcome back to Gardening with Creations by DX and Co. Um, so we recently did a Can You Grow Your Own Pepper video from a store-bought pepper. And so today I want to try that same thing. Got a lot of feedback on Facebook about works great with the tomatoes. So we're going to try that same thing with a tomato here. So you can see I've got uh, leftover tomato from BLTs from dinner. This is a store-bought tomato. Uh, let me grab the package and I'll show you exactly what kind. Alright, so let's see if we can get it to focus in on that here. So it is a, a sunset beef steak tomato and it is doesn't say anything about it being a hybrid uh, but it's made by the uh, grown by the sunset company there so we will go ahead and i'm going to cut this a little bit thinner obviously and then we'll go ahead and get it planted in some dirt and we'll see if you can grow a homegrown tomato now i've got plenty of tomatoes out there i don't need to do this i'm really doing this for you guys so Let's see if it works. Let me get it in some dirt. Okay, we've got our tomato slice here. You can see full of seeds, both sides. And we've got our pot here already full of soil. So I'm gonna put this tomato directly in there. Let me grab the rest of my soil. We're just gonna sprinkle this about a quarter inch right on top. There we go. Let me get that nice and even. I'm going to finish watering this top part in and then I'm going to put it actually directly in the greenhouse. It's uh, June now so we should be able to get some good temperatures to help germinate this and I'll come back with some results as soon as I have any. I'll give results within a week and see where we're at. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so back to our experiment here. It has been from June 2nd, today is June 13th. So you can see we have officially got two sprouts. So there's possible more to come. You can see the soil's a little dry at the moment, but uh, I actually ended up taking it out of the greenhouse, left it in the greenhouse for a little bit. Uh, realized it'd probably be better to set outside, so I have set it right outside here. Um, and it just gets watered over every day with the sprinkler um, and then it's out in the sun every day It has been brutally hot in the upper 80s uh, high humidity here um, We've had barely any rain a couple of drops here and there, uh, but you can see uh, It does work. So in less than two weeks uh, from taking that slice of tomato that I showed you in the beginning and just throwing about a quarter inch of dirt over top of it potting soil and we have got two tomatoes growing. So this method absolutely does work. Um, my recommendations would be go with a hybrid, uh, not a hybrid type, I mean, uh, go with a heirloom type, a type that you know is gonna be true to the seed that you want um, if you're gonna try this method. A hybrid type just means that they've kind of modified it and when you actually get that seed, it's gonna come out as a different tomato because uh, it's going to revert back to its original roots. Don't ask me, I'm not a, uh, I don't know the science behind it, but I just want you guys to know in case you're looking, an organic um, hybrid or an organic non-hybrid heirloom variety would be best for you to try this with. So there we are guys, just that uh, quick video. You can grow your own tomatoes from store-bought tomatoes. Uh, if you don't want to buy seeds or you can't find the seeds or you found a variety of tomato uh, that you really like, you could try growing it this way. If you want to start, um, I got two plants out of just that. I'm sure I can get some more if I let it go. Um, we'll let it grow a little bit longer. We'll see how it goes. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate the support. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. In the comments below, let me know what other types of vegetables or fruits that you've done from seed. Um, and the successful method store bought and um, just go ahead and subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell I've got a lot of update videos coming and uh, if you guys don't want to miss them 
As always, I hope you guys are staying safe and enjoying your gardens. Thanks for watching.